Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. Hello, everybody. It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got so much, so much good stuff today, guys. You don't even understand. We have probably two of the best cards in the game releasing today. We have Ghost of Madden Present. We have an out of position master. We have so much stuff, quite honestly, to go over here. It's pr pretty insane. Before we get into the video, as per usual, go down below, like the video, comment down below. Poodle Squad, let me know what's up. Give this video a big thumbs up. And of course, please subscribe, guys. We have so much stuff to go over. Apparently, we have the 50 reveal as well. A lot of stuff to really just check down on real quick and make sure that we're all good to go on. But, guys, the cards we got today are so insane. They're must cops. Like, these are must-have cards, guys. I'm telling you guys, go pick up some coins. You're going to need it. Head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys, because I'm telling you, when you see these cards, I'm going to show you guys. They're must-haves. One card's such a must-have that I'm actually kind of scared to see his price. He's going to be absolutely insane. But before we head on over to that, guys, like I said, be ready for all this content. There's a ton to go over, so let's get into it. Let's head over to the Zero Chill categories. Let's start in here, guys. As per usual, this has not been touched today. That is not the content that we have. Out of position, we got an out of position master. 95 overall tight end, Taysom Hill, guys. This is going to be effectively the best tight end in Madden, guys. I, I honestly, I had a prediction that he, we would get him. But I was not expecting a master, to be honest with you guys. A master seemed out of the realm of possibilities for him. Now, the low overall cards, just click on them real quick so you guys can get an idea of them. Um, okay, that one's not up yet. That's the high one. I mean, I do know who they are. But I want to click on them as you guys can see. We got Cordell Patterson, Corderell Patterson, halfback for the Chicago Bears. He was part of my predictions. Not too great. I mean, he's decent, 90 speed. You know, nothing too special there. I don't want to go over all these low ones. I mean, you guys can kind of see them there. We got tight end Robert Woods, I believe. We got Chad Ochocinco at kicker. 33K for him right there. Uh, nothing too great there, but he does get a crazy speed in case you want to do some fake kicks. And then if we go on down some more, I mean, sorry, back up. The main one over here is going to be Mike Evans, cornerback, which you guys saw a while ago. He's pretty solid. Taysom Hill is kind of the real gem here. Now we'll get back to his stats when he's on the block. Now for Ghost of Madden, present master J.J. Watt's going to be the master for the Ghost of Madden present. Now, moving on over. You guys know the heroes. We have Kendricks, Cam Newton, uh, and I believe ooh, was it Xavier Rhodes. I believe it was Xavier Rhodes. Yes, it was. So, again, we got massive J.J. Watt today. We got massive Kamara. We got some crazy the 50 stuff to reveal. And we also have, Taya, what's it called, some, another player from the Ghost of Presence to reveal. Now, guys, we get the pass now. I do have some other stuff to go over, so stay tuned. I have the entire holiday schedule. Kralo did pretty much give us the entire schedule for while they're gone. So, pretty much the whole week of content to reveal. The whole week and a half. So, I'm going to give you guys all that, so stay tuned for that. I just want to show you the stats and a few other stuff before I go on over. And start showing you guys all the crazy stuff that we did get revealed. We got two of the the two best players in the game were just uh, were just revealed, guys. So a lot of stuff to go over. But I'll show you guys Watt if he is on the block and Taysom Hill. So let's go let's go search for Watt. Watt is up right here, 429k. He's gonna go down more though. 80 speed, 84 cell, 94 strength, 95 tackle, 96 play rec. 91 block shit, 94 power move, 92 finesse. Uh, power to Kendo going to be a great run stuff. Going to be a great pass rusher. Overall, going to be great at just about everything he does. You guys know the deal. J.J. Watt's usually super well-rounded. And as the cards do get higher and overall, typically J.J. Watt gets that much better. Because as well-rounded cards are always great as you get near the end of their progression. Now, this guy is probably going to be the best head in the game. And honestly, no, he is the best head in the game. I don't know what I'm saying there. Taysom Hill is the best head in the game. Now... He will be up pretty soon, guys, of course. That is going to be limited to a few other things. But I'm going to go show you guys these stats on all the other stuff I want to show you guys because there's so much better stuff to show than just these cards right here. And I really want to get into it. I'm kind of itching here, as you guys can probably hear. And also, they added an 89 Ghost of Present Madden, guys. So you know what that means? There is another player like Isaiah Simmons, and that's going to be the crazy card I want to show you. So Sitting over to the screenshots. So real quick, the holiday break schedule. We got the 50 coming tomorrow on, on Christmas Eve. We got new ch on Christmas Day, guys. We got new Chill Factor tiers. 11 through 15, Ghost of Madden Pass is being released. Zero Cheer release, like another, you know, like a Bobby Wagner, Woodson, Henry kind of thing. Xmas Day Challenges, which could be limited. New Grouch Challenge, which is great for Chill Factor. And Presence Open, great. 7, uh, 726, we have Legends, which, again, like 96 overalls now, so those should be great. 
28th, we got Snowball Fight to end, so make sure you're getting it done. OOP release, probably another master. New Grouch Challenges, new Ghost added to Ghost of Madden. Uh, Snow Store offer, so we're going to get even more stuff added. Mud Draft update on the 30th, 31st, we got new Chill Factor tiers. 16 through 20, and then we got Ghost of Madden release all programs, guys. That means we're going to get another past, present, and future player. And then new Grouch Challenges again. And then on January uh, 1st, we have the 50 again. And then January 2nd, we have Legends. And then January 3rd, I believe they will be returning with the stream. So it won't be crazy. It'll feel pretty long, but again, it's the holiday season, so we don't really need to be here for the stream every day. We know exactly what's coming out. So that's exciting. Let's get to the next one. We got the Derwin James stats revealed real quick. If you guys want to take a look, I'm not going to stay here too long. 95 speed, 97 excel, 89 tackles, 96 play rec, 95 pursuit, 94 man, 95 zone, and 96 hit power. Yes, it seems insane, but remember, you're not getting him to, I believe, like February, so at that point, he's probably a regular card, considering Simmons is pretty similar already at this juncture. Next, we got reindeer game solos. Uh, check that out. You guys can look at that here. 20 yards for first down, 5 points for first down, the whole, the whole deal. Next, these are the out of position players. We've got Robert Woods taking, you know, pause the screen if you want to see the stats. Like I said, we have a lot to go over here. Chad Johnson, Corderell Patterson. We got Mike Evans. And then here's Taysom Hill. So we got 92 speed, 78 strength, 94 catch, 93 catch in traffic, 88 spec, 91 short running, 88 medium, and 88 run blocking, guys. Best 10 in the game. Hands down, best 10 in the game. Because he has 80 run blocking, which means he's going to be a run blocking stud. To fill the tight ends, he will get above 88 uh, medium route running with play fake. He has above 91 short. He will have crazy good catching, and he has 92 speed, so it's going to be even better than the Jonu Smith. This card is crazy good, and of course, it's Taysom Hill. And you know, he may even have some throwing stats too, which I don't know if there's any passes for a tight end passes for you, but again, definitely pretty cool on this Taysom Hill card. They definitely hit this one out of the park. JJ Watt, as we already know, JJ Watt present master set already. All this stuff you guys have seen. Alvin Kamara is going to be the next big banger, guys. 95 overall Kamara that can be powered up, which is the key thing here. He gets 94 speed, 95 excel, 95 agility, 90 carrying, 85 catching, 94 change of direction, 86 tackle, 97 break tackle. Remember what I told you guys about Derrick Henry? I said he was good, but the issue is he was like a low agility, low change of direction back, good speed. They Once they gave an elusive back, crazy good speed, it was going to be over. Well, here you're going, Alan Kamar. He gets powered up in Kemdorf, guys. He will be 95 speed, 96 excel. He will be the fastest back in the game by a large margin. He will have a 97 break tackle, which means on top of being the fastest back, he's going to low-key feel like a power back. I'd much rather take his 97 break tackle and 87 tr 86 trucking with a 95 speed over Derrick Henry's 93 speed with a lower break tackle and a truck higher by 10. This Alvin Kamar is going to be insane. Guys, did that change of direction with that speed? With the break tackle, he's going to be a monster. He's going to be super known to go up against. And guys, if you don't know, Alvin Kamara is one of my favorite running backs in the league. It's like, you know, the swagger, the, the Washington play, the way he plays, the finesse. I love watching it. But, you know, you love to watch the guys you play with on Sunday, and you love to watch play with them after watching them play on Sunday, right? Alvin Kamara is always the guy that balls out in real life, and then you hop into Madden, and you see him with, like, an 85 speed, and you're just like, yeah, I can't do this. Happy to see him finally get a card. But, guys, there's an even better card. Maybe. I don't know. Honestly, I like the Kamara better, but in terms of Madden names, he's going to be the better card. That's going to be Randy Moss. Randy Moss is in the game now. Like I said, the speed difference here compared to other wide receivers only plus one, but having Kamara's got like a plus three on everyone. Like, he's going to be crazy. Randy Moss, though, can be powered up, guys. His power may cost upwards of like 500, 600, 2 million coins. I really don't know because he will be able to get 99 speed, fully maxed up, powered up, chemmed up with Sprinter. 96 speed is powered up. 96 jumping. He'll have 97, uh, 95 catching, 93 catching traffic, 96 spec, 90 short, 89 medium, 95 deep route running. So you're going to want to power him up, get him to 96 speed, then put on go deep. Go deep will get him to a 99 route, deep route running. His power will get him to a 90 medium. Short will be a 91. His spec will end up being like a 99. 99 spec, 99 deep, 96 speed. Guys, he's going to be the most dominant wide receiver in the Madden. In Madden, he's 6 foot 4. It's going to be crazy good, guys. I, I, I really don't see a situation in which he doesn't just dominate the game. You pick up him and Kamara, which is going to be super expensive duo. And by the way, if you get Kamara, it's the same way you get Isaiah Simmons. You do that reroll set, or you just buy him off the block when enough people do it themselves. But Randy Moss is going to cost a lot of money. Alvin Kamara and Randy Moss are going to combine for well over a mil, and that doesn't include their power-ups. So Kamara's power-up won't be as bad, like I said, but Randy Moss's. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a lot, considering it's a 50-player. 
Okay, that pretty much wraps up the video again. Yes, J.J. Watt was cool. Taysom Hill was great. But Ran Randy Moss, Kamara, J.J. Watt, and Taysom Hill are four startable players right now. And not just four startable, like meta. Like Randy Moss is meta. Taysom Hill is meta. Kamara is meta. J.J. Watt may not be meta, but he's still startable. But that, that's kind of the impact we did have today, guys. And this is just the 23rd. This isn't even Christmas Eve or Christmas Day yet. We still have plenty of other stuff still coming, so stay tuned for that. But that does about a wrap up this video, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on your boys from join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And head on over to my reserve. I cannot stress this enough. 30% off using code Poodle. Take advantage. You need these cards. Four meta cards. Like, go ahead and scoop them up. But guys, that's it for the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.